Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.37. Sri Bhagavan said, This lust, the desire to enjoy sense objects, which indeed transforms into wrath, is born of passion. It is all-devouring and extremely fearsome. Know it to be the primary enemy of the living entities in this world. Sar Ardhavarshini Kama, the desire for sense objects, invariably engages a person in sinful actions. Impelled by it, he acts sinfully. This lust appears in a different form as anger, krodha. This is directly seen. When the desire for sense objects is obstructed, it transforms into anger. These lust, which is born from the material mode of passion, gives rise to anger, which is in the mode of ignorance. One may ask, will a person's passion for sense objects be saturated once his desires are fulfilled? Sri Bhagavan responds by saying, Maha Shana, it is all devouring. In the Smritis it is said, All the grains, barley, gold, animals, women, and so forth on the earth cannot satisfy the lust of even one man. It is best to understand this and become content. According to the above statement of the Smritis, it is beyond a person's ability to satisfy his lust or karma. Again, the question is raised. If there is no possibility of controlling this lust by offering it, its desired ends as a truce, then do we have to control it by pacifying it with sweet words or bringing allies into our ranks to weaken it? In response, Sri Bhagavan says, Maha Papam, it is extremely formidable and difficult to control. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti Lust and greed have been described as the prime enemies of those jivas on the path towards liberation. Kama, the desire to enjoy sense objects, is specifically the original enemy. Groda, anger, is just one of its transformations. Lust has been described as Mahashan, an enemy whose belly is never filled. In Srimad Bhagavatam 9.19.14, this is seen in the life history of Yayati Maharaja. Nayatu Kamaha Kamanam Upa Bogena Shamyati Havisha Krishna Vardmeya Buya Eva Bivardati. By adding Gi to fire, the fire becomes intensified. Similarly, by the fulfillment of lusty desires, one's desires are intensified. They do not disappear. Yat prit yam vriti yavam hiranyam pasha ha striyaha na duyanti manaha pritim pumshaha kama hatasyati. Srimad Bhagavatam 9.19.13. All the grains, barley, gold, animals, women, and so forth on the earth, cannot satisfy the lust of even one man. An enemy is controlled by the four principles, appeasement, sama, bribery, dharma, division of power, veda, and punishment, danda. Here, Sri Bhagavan is explaining that this formidable enemy, lust, cannot be controlled by the principles of appeasement, 
bravery or dividing it to weaken its force. He is thus indicating that one should use the principle of punishment, danda, to control the desire for sense objects. This will be further clarified in the next verse. The enemy, lust, can be destroyed when one acquires the weapon of knowledge of the self, atma, jnana.